This is John from the John G. Rells podcast. Joining me as always is Tommy Els, my co-host. And with us today, as we go on the beat, is Jennifer Haas, two-time Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu champion. Hi, how are you, Jennifer? I'm really good. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Hi, Thank you for coming yeah. on. Yeah, welcome to the show. Uh, John, John sort of told me about you and, and, and gave me a little bit of your background and everything. And we were real excited to, to bring you on and, and kind of share your story and, and your journey with, uh, with our listeners. Yeah, that'd be awesome. So he did say I was a two time uh, world champion that was at purple belt. Now I'm at Brown belt and I just had nationals this past week. I won in the gi, um, my first tournament as a Brown belt. And then I got second in um, no gi. So that was pretty cool. Oh, well, congratulations. What is, what is the difference between gi and no gi? Obviously, besides the gi itself. So, the, well, you wear the gi and you can use any grips you can get a hold of. So, it, like, I guess it would translate better to a street fight because you could use clothing as well. But, like, you have the gi on and then there's, like, lapel grips, there's pants grips. Like, you can just grip anything. Whereas no gi, you can't really grab their clothes and, like, twist it around them to choke it, to choke them. So wow. do, you, do, you, do you prefer either? You know, I really like no gi only because I'm lighter, like the gi weighs a few pounds itself. And so I'm lighter and I feel quicker in no gi, but um, it's a lot easier for me to control someone in gi because I, because I have that grip and I can maneuver them around and keep, keep hold of them. How many years have you been uh, uh, competitive with this? So um, I've been training for about seven years. Uh, a little bit over seven years. And I started competing, gosh, as a white belt, probably I would say like seven months in, I think. Yeah. And so, yeah, totally, totally green, like competing. I remember my first competition, um, it was, it, it was a nogi and then the next day was gi. And I think it was like my second match. I stepped back and twisted my own ankle. Like my ankle Ooh. swelled up like a golf ball. And I didn't get on the podium the first day. And then the next day I'm like, I'm going, like, I don't care what I have to do. I'm going to compete. And then I, I actually won that one. So I got gold. I'm like, yeah, I just, I just oh. won't walk on it. I'll just like stay in place and it'll be fine. Wrap it up real tight. And I was good to go. Yeah. I've, I've done uh, professional wrestling and I'd say like 95% of any injuries I've ever had was me like, you know, walking into a wall or something stupid like that. I mean, it's like, it's never, it's never come from in the ring. I've rolled my ankle walking and things like that. It's just, it's never, it's never the thing you think is going to injure you. <laughs> um, well, it, I have the weird of like being super good with my balance but then also like sometimes clumsy like I've, I've tripped over my own feet and like like fell flat out and so <laughs> it's a strange combo now what is your next step you, uh, training for a black belt what do you need to do to get that black belt so it's not just about training and competing, you know, which is like what I've been used to this whole time. The, my coach is Pretzin Pachow. So he wants like a well-rounded student as a black belt, as a black belt, you should be able to teach all the lower belts and, and run a class. And so I'm starting an all girls class. I've taught that, uh, our class a few times just to get to know, like how to explain a move, how to get in the, into it, how to get out of it understanding the body concepts of what's happening, why you're doing this, why you're putting pressure here, why you're putting pressure there, um, being able to explain it and get someone who is a brand new baby at jujitsu to understand it. So I think just teaching classes has helped me. And then when I teach, um, I think with anything, like when you teach, you understand it better because as opposed to just going with what your body feels like, you have to break it down and you have to understand the concepts. So how, just being totally well-rounded, like being a teacher, being a good student, being a good competitor. Those are all things that he's going to look at when he feels it's time to, you know, award that black belt and stuff. I see. And how, and how do you like teaching? I like it. Um, I, I've gotten better at it. Like at first I was like, I don't know how to explain this, but now that I've kind of broken down uh, it helps me understand better. And I like it because I get a better knowledge coming out of it, uh, of myself and my own body mechanics. So I actually appreciate teaching a lot. Yeah. I, I, I've done some teaching with, um, 
with with someone with pro wrestling and it, it and it's true that you know as you teach others it almost sharpens your own skills because you become so much more aware of you know the preciseness of what you're doing why you're doing it it's like you're you're sort of relearning yourself as you're teaching somebody else so it, it's i think it's very rewarding to get to do that yeah and it definitely develops patience because sometimes like I mean, I know when he's explained moves to me, sometimes it's like, whoosh, and I, oh, sure. you know, yeah. <laughs> and so now I kind of have the other side, like, Oh, like, yeah. obviously, like I can't just say the same thing over and over again. Cause it's not going to translate to someone like you have to come up with a different way and try and explain it in a way they're going to understand it, which is going to be different for everyone. Absolutely. Now, is this something that you wanted to do when you were, uh, when you were very young, when you were growing up? Were you athletic? Did you foresee doing this? Well, when I was young, I think I was athletic. Um, I did gymnastics uh, and I skated uh, artistically, competitively. So um, I was always physically active. I cheered through high school um, and I kept the gymnastic background pretty good. Like I was able to do some stunts on my own um, during cheer, not like backflips with no hands and stuff, but like basic stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hadn't trained since I was like 12 or something but then in my town like it was such a small town the only thing there was was karate and so I took karate for a number of years got to brown belt and karate and it was like a mix of like boxing and karate so I we did stand up like to get our belt test we had to do um, a certain number of rounds stand up so I, I was able to do that but there was nowhere to train jujitsu when I was in Pennsylvania <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I was going to ask about that. Where where are you from? Where did you grow up? So originally, I'm from Pennsylvania. It's Reading. It's like an hour and 15 minutes outside of Philly. Mm -hmm. But like I grew up, grew up in a small town outside of there. So like my elementary school, high school, college were all in like a three mile vicinity. Like oh, wow. know, everyone knew each other and <laughs> tiny, <laughs> tiny town. And so what is uh, what does your family think about uh, about you doing this? Um, we always were a physically active family. Like my uncles actually started it before I did. And so my two older uncles used to roll all the time. And because uh, then as time went on, we all moved out, like my entire family moved out to Las Vegas. Um, and then some of them moved back. So by that time, there was jujitsu schools opening up. Uh, mm -hmm. They had to travel pretty far, but there was one they went to. And so they actually started taking it before I did. And so then finally I started taking it and I rolled with them a few times and, you know, I didn't know anything and they were able to teach me stuff. So it's pretty cool. But like our whole family is, is very athletic. We're always in the gym and stuff like that. Well, that's cool. Well, how did you develop your submission move or do you do different submission moves depending on your opponent? It, you know, I try not to think about what I want to go with. Like if I'm learning a move, sometimes I will focus on trying to get into that move and trying to get that submission done in training. But when I'm in competition, my mind's like totally blank. I will just go wherever my body feels. I don't even think about it. Like my body just goes and whatever, whatever comes, I usually get in, uh, I have a very active guard. So like, and I'm flexible. So triangles tend to get there a lot. Um, but then if I don't get that, like I transition to omoplata. So it, it just kind of depends where I'm at. Like this last one in Nogi, I was down on points and then I was able to get like her foot. I tried, I tried a knee bar. I was too far down on her leg. And then I tried like a toe hold, but ran out of time. So kind of whatever I see. And then I'm like, oh yeah, that. And then I just kind of could go in for the kill. But <laughs> Yeah, I would think that would make sense. You, If you go in with a predetermined plan and it doesn't apply to the opponent and the situation, it's not going to serve you at all. So you'd have to yeah. go in and, and just feel them out. Um, so you, uh, you're you now taking an interest in pro wrestling, I understand. Yeah, so I actually, my biological father was uh, Tito Santana. What is Tito Santana? He wrestled as yeah. Tito Santana. So um, when I did an interview, they had asked if I'd like to try out pro wrestling. And I was like, yeah, I mean, I've, I'm always into trying new things. So I had my first session. I learned some stuff like we ran the ropes, which, um, you know, I probably 
didn't look that great doing. I was, <laughs> but aside from that, like the roles were pretty good. Uh, mm-hmm. I worked on bumps, which that is going to take a little bit more practice too. But I had a few ones that were really good. Uh, so today actually is going to be my second session and we'll see, hopefully I've improved a little bit, but it, I mean, oh. it's super fun. It's super fun. And I, it, it was a really good workout. So can I ask how you felt when you took your first bump? Because that can be kind of a scary notion of just throwing yourself backwards. I mean, yeah, it was so like they had, they had me practice just from like sitting and then yeah. throwing myself back. So I did that a bunch of times until I kind of got the knack. I mean, I don't have the knack, but like the best it, could, it was going to get that day. Sure, and yeah. then at the of doing it from a squat and so for a second I could feel myself tense up and I'm like oh and it was only like from a squat like you're not falling back very far at all you know but still like just the concept of throwing yourself backward kind yeah. of yeah I I, tr- I try to explain that to people that it's just it's such a mental block you got to get past it's just not natural for you to to do that and because I started similarly holding the the second rope, you know, yeah. knees bent and then kick back into the into the bump. But then when you go that little that couple extra feet up to a standing position suddenly seems like a much bigger fall. <laughs> it does. They they had me like run the ropes and then the very last one like uh do it from standing. Mm-hmm. And some of them, I just totally, like, I totally chickened out on some. I'm like, oh, I could, die. and then like, it, it was horrible. Like one leg went up, the other one didn't. Like it, it was, it was a hot mess, but hopefully it'll be better. Well, with, with time, you get to a point where you'll do it without even thinking about it. It's just in the beginning. It That's, that's very common though. I, that's why I was asking the, about the first bumps, because that honestly is really the scariest part of the whole thing. Everything else is much, is, is, is real easy to just kind of, you know, accept and, and work into but the bumping is you know that that can be a little mentally challenging to to get past um so i thought i saw uh where did you have your first session at um super beast training compound okay all right and that's in vegas right yeah that's in vegas okay and that's and you're going to be training there from now on no i'm actually not training there there's uh another one we found i think um, I actually don't know the location yet, but we'll, we'll see today. So my trainer has it. Good, good. What do you hope today or how far or where do, would you like to take wrestling? I don't know. I mean, I guess like how cliche, like sky's the limit, but um, it would be nice to be able to, and I think I touched on this in one of my other interviews, like I work for the school district, which is, you know, your basic job, which has job security, stuff like that. And, and I like it, but at the same time, like if I could get paid to do something I am in love with, like sure. that's all. So like if you can make a living out of something you totally would do anyways for free, sure. that, that, that would be my goal. Right now. Well, that's Absolutely. good. That's good. Um, have you, uh, have you gone to like any independent shows at all? No, we went to, I think I was at a WWE show. Cause my brother, and my son are like total fan. My whole family is fans. So like, I've yeah. watched, you know, growing up watching WWF, WWE, but I haven't gone to like a local one, but there's some coming up that I plan on attending. So cool. Well, growing up. I heard of the, oh, sorry. Tommy. No, no, go, go ahead. ahead, John. Go ahead. I heard the interview you did with Hannibal. Very, very good interview. You had talked about your mom and your grandmother being big wrestling fans back in the day. Yeah, they, they were like, they, my great grandmother started it. So she started, she was like a huge wrestling fan and my mom just did not want any parts of it. And she finally convinced her to go and they ended up meeting Haystacks Calhoun that day. And then it just kind of took off. They went to all of the shows. Like my mom became super close with Andre the Giant. Uh, yeah. They were really good friends. Uh, they were t- together all the time. Like she traveled with him all over, like Jersey, New York. I bet um, she's got some stories. Have- yeah. Oh. yeah, she has a lot of stories. We're trying to. I'm trying to get her to write a book because you, you would not believe some of the backstage stuff that that she has encountered. And people, I think people would be really interested in it because you you don't see oh. that side of it. So absolutely, it'd be a really unique perspective to to hear about that from. That's, that's very cool. And it's neat. I, you know, I, it, it's funny. I, I, I hear so many people talk about when they're growing up, it's, it's not, 
I, I, I hear less and less that, well, my dad was real into it or my uncle was real into it. It's it's grandma was a big wrestling fan. And I think that's I think that's awesome. You know, I know there's been a lot of grandmothers out there who have been influential on people because they they watched wrestling, you know, and that just made it even cooler because their grandma was into it. So. Yeah, and we I have pictures. My my grandmother actually gave me pictures of my great grandmother and my uncle in the ring because they would be in the ring after the matches, after mm -hmm. the shows, and they could like mess around and like my great grandmother who probably I mean, she was probably like in her sixties at the time and so or like fifties, sixties, and she's like getting her head slammed into the turnbuckle by yeah. my uncle who's like six, you know, <laughs> like it yeah. was just the, the greatest playground, I guess, you could ever ask for as a kid. Absolutely. So what do your family think about your uh, fledgling wrestling career? Me, I mean, they're excited. They're, they always support me in whatever I decide to do. So they always, you know, want the updates. And they're like, as long as, you know, your, your body can take it. I think that's the biggest thing. Like mm. wrestlers put such a strain on their body. And, you know, jujitsu does that too, to, to a certain extent. But as long as, you know, I stay healthy and, and just do what is in my ability to do and not, not go crazy until I get the foundation. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, so I hear that you are in uh, a muscle and fitness contest going on I, right now. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's a muscle and fitness contest sponsored sponsored by muscle and fitness obviously and there is different groups i was in it last year and i think i got like fourth in my group and so this year uh i'm so thankful to everyone who's voted there are actually people who you can like buy votes and support a cause and someone actually bought me some votes yesterday which was super cool so thank you um but I'm actually second, or when I checked last, I was second in my group. And so they narrow it down. I think it started with like 30 girls and then it was cut to like 15. Today, maybe it goes to 10 and then it goes to five and then it's like three, two, one. And then once you get the winner of your group, then the winner of all the groups start a big group again and then go back down and then they cut them out. And so it's based on votes and you can vote through Facebook. I have it on my Facebook and you would win, uh, you get to be featured on the cover of Muscle and Fitness, and then you get like a $20,000 cash prize that you can choose to do with what you want, if you want to invest it in yourself or others or yeah. like athletic stuff. So it's super, it, it was a super good opportunity. I was super excited. Um, last year when I did it, I actually, it kept popping up on my Instagram feed. And so I filled out, um, it was like, fill out these questions and put your photos in. And so I was like, oh, I might try this. I put three photos in, but then I was like, nah, it's, it's probably not for me. And so I didn't fill out the biography at all. And then the contest started, I was in the contest and I'm like, wait a second. I never even finished the application. And so <laughs> you already have started, a shot. I was yeah. like, well, I better get on board. Yeah. So, and then I did pretty well. So it was, you know, kind of encouraging. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to do it this year. You know, got the questions before the contest started and stuff like that. So, so <laughs> what, you, you, told, you told a funny story though, on the one interview, how um, somebody, you would, you were talking to one of your friends about voting and he kind of chided you and said, you know, that you shouldn't be asking for votes, which I think is totally ridiculous. I think you should totally ask for votes. We support that completely. I just thought that was a funny story. I know I, I was so it, I was so taken back because it was you know the first time I was in it I really didn't put it out there on my social media at all because I'm like well it, I, I don't know like I just wasn't I don't want to ask for votes and so like a few like close friends I like sent a message to like on this contest you know would you mind voting and yeah the message I got back was you know <laughs> totally like no, I'm not going to do that for you. It's cheating. And I was like, but that's how everyone gets their votes. You know, like, right. You know, we're friends, like support me. It's not like you're picking like a horrible person to win this. I don't know. I, I was so <laughs> no, like, it, it's a, it's an even so playing field. Way. If everyone else can do it, it's an even playing field. You're not, yeah. you're not cheating. So yeah. um, it's the rules. you're totally fine. What, what is, what is like the criteria that's there that's being judged? Is it, is it your photo? I mean, is it, is it your physical appearance? Is it, is it, is it your background as well? I mean, like what are, what, what are people like, like, what are you getting separated against like with the other girls? So 
I think this was, uh, I think this was his point that it's more of like a popularity contest, which, mm. you know, I've seen some of other girls were like, I don't want to go in that because it's kind of like a popularity contest, which kind of, I guess it is because I don't really know what I'm getting judged on. Like there's different aspects, but there's pictures of myself. So I guess like physique, there's like, I put headshots on there and you can decide what pictures you want. So there's like headshots, there's shots of me at jujitsu, like on the podium. There's shots in like bikinis because everyone loves a good swimsuit picture. Um, but then there's also like questions like, what does fitness mean to you? Yeah, I don't know yeah. how many people actually read that, but like, I, you know, I was yeah. like, yeah, I really want this to be important. Like this, this should be. No, I think it should. Yeah, absolutely. People, you know, <laughs> to select. And then like, what are you going to do with the money? Like, I think that's super, super big. Like I had read some last year where they're like, I'm going to go on vacation. I'm like, that's cool. But like, you're getting this money that's not even really yours if you win. Like, you should do something good and, like, put back in the community at least. So, I guess it depends. But, I mean, when I'm like, please vote for me, I don't I don't know what they're voting for. Like, a lot of people who follow me do vote. So, I'm not really sure why they think I would be good for it. But, um well, we're gonna we're gonna put links up on our page and our Facebook pages and stuff, and we're gonna try to drive some uh, some votes your way and 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 help the cause. Uh, that would be awesome. I'd appreciate that. We're we're gonna do our, our best to rally the troops and see and see if we can't uh, help make a dent in that there for you. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Therefore, I saw on uh, on on your uh, latest Instagram, you were talking about uh, doing some uh, training with your daughter now. Yeah, so we, I, I did post, we had decided to come up with like a fitness page and it's it's totally under construction. We don't really know where we want to go with it. And I, I have to confess, like she's been a lot better about posting on it and things like that. But how old is she? She's 18 now. So okay. yeah, we're based, we basically look, we basically look like twins, I I'm guess. Sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure, yeah. <laughs> like we have, we the very first post um she had taken this picture in a bikini and so i'm like i'm gonna take the same picture and so like i tried to take it the exact same way and like it's not it's not hard to tell but like if you don't know it's like it might be a little bit hard sure. to tell yeah. which one's which you know and so we're like we sh she wanted to start a fitness channel I'm like we should do it together you know there's not really a lot of like mother daughter ones like mm -hmm. i think it good at least to start it so we're like in the beginning stages we kind of put po she posts workouts more than I do but I've posted like a squat workout once um and then like I am a huge uh proponent of like how much water you drink really helps your health and so Absolutely. like I, I've done a Absolutely. post about that um but sh she's definitely been better about it but I mean we don't really know where it's gonna go we're just throwing it out there trying it something that's new, that's, so. that's great and you know what that's you know that's the way it goes is you start off somewhere you have kind of a general idea and you just kind of move forward and you'll end up somewhere you never suspected when it's yeah. all said and done so that's great I mean I'm happy for you that sounds very cool yeah I mean I never thought I'd be trying out pro wrestling and here I am like working yeah. now yeah. with bruises all over my back so <laughs> Yeah, I, I kind of fell backwards into into getting into the business myself. So I understand it's just yeah, but there's things in life that, you know, just present the opportunity. And it's like, why not? You know, you take the chance and see where it goes. Yeah. And I think the more like you own who you are, the more chances of where you're supposed to be will will happen. Absolutely. We'll Absolutely. Well, John, do you have anything else? No, before we let you go, Jennifer, is there anything you want other than your uh, health and fitness um, magazine? Is there anything else you want to promote at all? Um, I'm always trying to promote like my Instagram page. It's kind of, it's uh, I love, you know, having extra followers. And if you want to follow our um, fitness page, my page is jhaas1228. And then our fitness page is jhaas fitness. So um, okay. if you want to give those a look, like, follow, that'd be great. We'll post all that up with uh, with this interview and everything, and let everyone have a chance to to see you and see uh, your uh, your progress and and everything else. So, yeah. thank you so much for, for being with line, us. Hopefully, down the line, we could we could get an update from you too as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah we would love to check in and down the road and see how things are going. So. Absolutely. 
Well, thank you again for taking the time to be with us. We really appreciate it. Um, I think you have a very uh, interesting story, a fascinating life. And uh, and again, I think I, th I would I'm very interested to see where things go for you. And I would very much encourage your mother. You can tell her to write that book. Yeah, I wanna, absolutely. I want, I, I want to read that book. So me too. Tell, I want to tell her the the two podcast guys said to do it. So <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to get stories out of her. Like every day, there's like a new story, and I'm like, oh my gosh, like people would eat this up, you know? Like maybe you all... maybe you should just start writing them down as she's telling them, and then just yeah, compile them and put it out. And then. <laughs> 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 all right jennifer well thank you so much for being on and 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 again we appreciate it good luck to you and uh and be well thank you thank so you, much <laughs> it's all a right. pleasure thank you jennifer have a good day take you care too.